Good afternoon, Recon here with TechOut. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to flash um, the stock firmware and update your Samsung Galaxy device to a beta firmware that is not an OTA update and one that you have to sideload or flash from an SD card. Um, so this is going to be a tutorial on how to use Odin. Um, I'm not really going to be showing you anything with the phone itself. Um, but that's pretty self-explanatory. All you really have to do with the physical phone is put it in download mode. Um, so once you do that, um, turn your phone off, hold power, Bixby, and volume down until you get the blue screen and then hit continue. If you need to know how to do that, just Google that um, on how to put it in download mode. I have all my files here on my backup drive. Um, so I have all my files right here as well as Odin and I have my update files right here. Now the update files are not going to be um, flashed in Odin. Those are going to be sideloaded to the phone itself in ADB or if you have an SD card you just need to put these on the SD card. Um, so those are the actual update files. But to update to these you need to be on version ARI 6 and this is for the S9 Plus. If you have a different device um, your firmware may be different if you have an S9 or Note 9 um, or even a Note 8 your firmware is going to be different so make sure you have the correct firmware for your device um, if you're using the correct firmware the, the process is the same just use the correct file um, so we're going to pop over into Odin right here um, and go ahead and open it up now my phone is not connected right now um, because my phone has already been flashed so I'm not going to plug it in um, but when your phone's plugged in if all the drivers and everything are working correctly you should see it right here where it says ID com um, it should show up it's not going to really say anything, it'll just say that COM3, COM4, it just depends on what USB port it's plugged into. Um, so there's that. Now like I said, all my files are right here. So when we go over to Odin, we're going to click the BL file. We're going to add the BL file from this to the BL section right here. We're going to add the AP to the AP. Now this one does take a second and Odin may, sh may show it's not responding. That's perfectly normal. Um, just give it a second. Don't click around or click on anything. Um, just give it a second and it will add it. It usually does this for the AP files because they're um, they're a little bit larger. Now while we wait for that, um, when we get down to the CSC file, there are going to be two of those and I will explain those in a minute what the different ones do. Sorry if you can hear a, a vacuum running in the background. I'm using my Blue Yeti mic and it does pick up quite a bit of audio. I'm going to give this one a second. Um, anyway, here's the two CSC files right here. Home CSC will not wipe your device. Um, and then the CSC right here, the uh, one without home in front of it, will wipe your device. So if you want to um, not factory reset your device, use the home CSC. Now, I usually recommend factory resetting it because it eliminates some issues that you may have. Um, so say we were not going to wipe our device, we would choose home CSC right here and add it to the CSC section. Um, and then if your phone's plugged in, you're in download mode, all you have to do is click start right here. Um, obviously it's not going to do anything because nothing is plugged in. Um, now what we use Odin for, like I said, is we need to be on ARI 6 right here. Um, ARI 6, which is the same, these files right here. Um, ARI 6 is the stock Odin files. So we have to go from ARI 6 to the next um, build, which I don't remember what build this is exactly. It's going to depend on what build you're going to, so it's really irrelevant at this point. Um, but so say this, um, say you're going to this build right here, and this build is um, ZRZ1. That's not a real build, but we're going to use it as an example. Say this is ZRZ1, and this is ZRZ or ZRY0. So ZRY0, if you have an upgrade from ZRY0 to ZRZ1, then you need to have ZRY0 on your device before you can flash this update. So this one is going to be sent through ADB or your SD card. Um, so you'll need to put that one on your phone, let it boot up, and then you'll need to do um, you'll need to update from the SD card or ADB to this one to your final build. So that's pretty much how you use Odin to flash back to your stock firmware so you can update to another one. Or if you need to return your device to stock if you're having issues, you can use that as well by downloading the stock firmware. So this has been Colin with TechOut. If you guys want to see a full in-depth video on how to actually flash the full build, um, let me know down in the comments below and I'll do that. But like I said, this video is really just intended um, to show you how to use Odin.